let's look at some examples of ultra filters and sort of look for these godlike elements in those examples. So <clears throat> let's see if we have so a principal ultra filter is the kind that we have for positive properties, okay? And principal just means that there's a least element <clears throat> in our filter. So in other words, <clears throat> um, the intersection of all our subsets um, is again in the filter. So if we have these subsets, remember we thought saw these subsets as the 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 subsets which are true, the true subsets for certain statements. So every statement can either be true or false on individual elements of the set. And so there's a subset where it's always true and its complement, it's it's on on, on which is always false. <clears throat> so that set we call the say the true set. And we identify it with the property itself. So it's basically the set of all the things that satisfy the property. Um, and so if if the intersection of two sets are in in the filter, that's just saying that some the, the set of things which satisfy exactly satisfy both properties um, is also so is also the set of some positive property okay so it's, so combining both properties together with an and gives you another positive property and if it's principal and it has this least element basically I guess it just means that um, something the property of having all positive properties is positive so that's that that's that axiom that says being godlike is positive okay and so you know something like of this form this principle. So this is the set of all, this is the filter of all subsets that contain some fixed set. Okay, so we nominate a set, a subset to begin with, and all the, all the subsets of the, the original set which contains this subset forms a, forms a principal filter. Okay, actually a principal ultra filter. Um, So, yeah, and so, so, so basically, and then all of them are of this form. Okay, because there's a least element, and if you if you didn't have all of the ones that contain that least element, then it wouldn't be maximal. And if you had all the ones that contain the least element, then it, it satisfies the conditions of a filter. Okay, so. And that that's a that's an easy way to classify principal ultra filters, and what I guess should be the case is that this principal element A is the godlike element we're looking for. Okay, so basically, if you take say so the set of natural numbers. Okay, and then look at the power set, and maybe take the set, the set of the first three numbers, one, two, three, okay, so that'll be A. Then all the subsets of the natural numbers that contain one, two, and three, that'll form an ultra filter, a principal ultra filter. Okay, and those sets <coughs> will be the true, the, the, will be the truth sets for a set of properties which satisfies the conditions for being positive properties. Okay, so if we define sort of positive property on the set of natural numbers to be all the, all the properties for which 1, 2, and 3 Um, have, are satisfied by those properties. <clears throat> so the, those properties all have to have 1, 2, and 3 satisfy them. Okay, so 1, 2, and 3 is a member of every set for which the property is true. 
okay, every subset. <clears throat> then that defines a notion of positive property. Okay. And then obviously the, the, the elements for which um, all these positive properties are satisfied, okay, must be just the set of one, two, and three. Because there is a, there is a property which only one, two, and three satisfies. For example, the property of being exactly one, two, or three. Okay. <clears throat> so to satisfy all the positive properties is the same as satisfying that property. <clears throat> and so that means that yeah, the set of one, two, and three would be the godlike element if you defined that to be the notion of positive. Okay, so you know the godlike element is unique, but but the notion of positive property isn't unique. Okay, and that's something I s said much earlier, even without knowing it. Because you can have a notion of positive property for every different ultra filter on your set. Okay. <clears throat> so that's interesting. And then I guess to, to con continue the argument in this, maybe the ontological argument, um, in this sort of mathematical way, you would shed, you would try to find a set, a set of beings or something, something like this. And that, that's also already sort of um, a, a challenge to, to make it precise enough to be a set, okay? Because a set, not everything is not everything is set, okay? It, 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 you have to actually know the things precisely enough. They have to be defined precisely enough that you know if something's a member of the set or not for some for the set for, for the collection of them to be a set, okay? So, but if we did have some set of beings, okay? then the set of properties on those beings, which were positive, okay, we could take this, the subsets of beings for which each of those properties is sort of true on and not true on the complement, then those subsets would form a principal ultra filter, okay? And so it, it is known that Ultra filters, so it says here, principal ultra filters exist. It says somewhere here, and it's, it's related to the well known this, this prime ideal theorem or Zorn's lemma. So, if you do maths, you'll be very familiar with the axiom of choice or Zorn's lemma, and that is something that is often assumed to be true for sets, and it implies the existence of ultra filters. Okay. Um, it doesn't. Okay, maybe it's actually not particularly relevant. Uh, I guess. I guess if all principal ultra filters are of this form, then you can that that directly shows um, the existence of principal ultra filters. So maybe maybe that the axiom choice thing is more just to show the existence of free ultra filters. Okay. Um, Okay, so it's actually it might actually be quite easy to show the existence of uh, of principal ultra filters, okay, because they're all of this form, and then um, okay, and so once you've gotten that, and it's and it's the filters of su subsets of beings, okay, then then the the Oh, okay, here's here seems to be a problem. The godlike element is a set as opposed to a particular being. Oh, so it, it, there seem to be more. There could be more than one godlike element. So there must be something, so there was something that should imply the existence and the uniqueness of these godlike elements. OK. 
Okay, so a, so look, if you have a principal alter filter, okay, so you have subsets which are the true the true sets for these positive properties, okay. The minimal one, the minimum one, let's call it little a, is the set of all, so in this case, beings that satisfy all the positive properties. Okay, so these beings satisfy all the positive properties. So these beings, I guess, are, are godlike in, in this Godel's definition, Godel's proof thing. So if something is godlike if for all properties, being positive implies that that satisfies that property. Okay. So, um, yeah, it would appear that being godlike would, wouldn't be unique for a lot of these sets. Um, So, okay, but, but still, we did succeed in finding out examples of these principal ultra filters, which are meant to correspond to, um, so each principal ultra filter is, um, a collection of sets which correspond to statements which satisfy the axioms for positive properties. So any notion of positive properties corresponds to one principal ultra filter. Okay, and so the godlike being would just then be all the elements of this subset A. Okay. Oh yeah, of course. Okay, it says for some. Of course, it's not. It's not every possible subset will be. Um, yeah, I was being really stupid, because yeah, the subsets are meant to be large, right? So you can't just have the set of 1, 2, and 3 um, be this little a. You know, if you have, you know, if the empty set is a little a, then it's, 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 a, it's a trivial filter. Um, if it's the set of 1... It's a set of, well, maybe it's good to check the axioms. If you have um, so some set, maybe you can have any set, like so. principal attributes of the form f of a for some but not all elements a of a given post set. Why is that? Well, if you take the intersection, it will contain little a, sure. Um, if you have a set, if a set contains a and it sets greater, that also contain a. And oh, okay, so maybe this is this complement property. So it's a set either contains this subset a or its complement contains the subset a. And that should apply to every set. So. Yeah, it seems like there are, like if you t just took some, if you took the set of just, con just containing one, then every set which contains one is in the filter. Hmm. Kind of struggling a bit here. What's, what's going on with this? Um, This principal ultra filter. Yeah, okay, so I guess that, that's so, so we know that the, the subset little a should be this god, the set of beings that are godlike. And now we want to sort of understand a little bit about the nature of this little a and what kind of elements it can be and what, what kind of elements it can't be. Okay, so. Can it be a finite set? 
Um, so we're saying if it's a finite set, say like the set of just one to one, just the set of just one, okay, then the principal ultra filter would be the set of all things which contain one. The set of all subsets would contain one that clearly satisfies all the axioms except for, let's see, what, what is, is every set either contains one or its complement contains one? Yeah, that's true. Okay, but, but see, if you took a finite set with one and two, that wouldn't be true. Because the set could just contain one and not two. And so the complement nor the set would contain both one and two. Okay, so if it was a finite set, it would have to be a single element. Well, that's good because um, we wanted this godlike element to be unique. Right. Um, can it be an infinite set? Well, yeah, well, that, that, that argument applies. It seems, to, it seems to not be able to be an infinite set even. Seem, that argument seems to apply to that. Well, what, what? You could you could have a subset which contains some. Yeah, it's, it should be all the one element subsets, shouldn't it? Because if you had um two an infinite number of elements in a, little a. Then any set which can only contain some of those elements um, would not satisfy this last property that either it or its complement is in this fil this kind of form of ultra filter. So yeah, it would it would violate that because because it does not contain little a because it doesn't contain all of it and its complement doesn't either because it originally contains some of it oh, maybe I should just keep reading if I keep reading then I would probably avoid lots of these problems so for ultra filters on a power set a front principle consists of all subsets of s that can contain a given element of s yeah see Oh, so this is like the general definition. This is for the power set in our case. Yeah, so single element sets. Yeah, and then we verified it. Therefore, a filter is principal if and only if it contains a finite set. Yep, so it has to contain a finite set. and um, If it does, it contains a single element set. S is infinite. An ultra filter is hence non principal if and only if it contains. Yeah, okay, I guess we don't have to verify that. But yeah, I think we've we got into the, the things we're interested in now. So, um, so being godlike is unique, but the notion of being godlike is not unique. Okay, so that's kind of interesting, and we should investigate the uniqueness question maybe separately.